Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. So for today's video, I am actually going to be showing you guys my self-tan routine. I have never filmed one of these, but I've been wanting to film a self-tan routine for a while now. So I'm actually glad and excited that I actually got everything on camera and I was able to do it. So if you guys want to see how I self-tan and you want some tips and tricks, because I know this is hard. I know tanning is hard. It is like a learning lesson and it's like talent if you can self-tan. It's hard. You have to make sure you master these steps. I'm not even saying I have them mastered, but I feel like this is pretty good for me. I can't complain. It's seamless. There's no blotchiness. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool. It's fine. Like, like, it's cool, whatever. My ankles, nothing's blotchy. So that's, that's honestly more than I could ask for. I hope this helps you guys a little bit and helps you guys with your tan routine. I hope you guys look sexy. I hope you guys feel great and if you have any tips that I missed or any techniques that I missed um, please let me know. Send me a message on Instagram and I'll message you guys back. I would love to hear any tips that you guys have as well so or leave them in the comments and I will just comment back to you guys. I love you guys so much. I hope this video helps a little bit and I will see you guys in a minute. So actually it's been very hard for me to learn how to self tan but I feel like I have learned so much. The fact that I'm using the Platinum Loving Tan and it looks seamless and there's no blotches anywhere I feel like should tell you right there and I remember looking at videos like how do I apply this because I didn't want to mess it up because it is extra dark so it's not a sponsored video basically I just wanted to create a video of my own just to show you guys how I self tan and I just felt like it would be cool what you guys want to do is the day of your self tanning make sure you haven't shaved in a couple days because you don't want to get like razor burn or anything because you are going to be exfoliating and you don't want it to hurt your legs and then when you go in the shower you are going to want to exfoliate so for exfoliator I use the soap and glory exfoliator this is like a breakfast scrub that has like oatmeal and like coffee grinds or something in it and it just worked very well so that is what I used and then also loving tan has a mitt which I also had I got from Ulta I also use that in the places that I knew were gonna be extra dry like my knees and my toes and like just around my hands and my um my elbows and stuff like that um, I feel like I have pretty normal skin, it's not too dry, but I just like over excess exfoliate. You probably don't have to do that, don't hurt yourself. Um, I just like to do it. So I just think it will give me the most like seamless tan. And I was like actually scared because I was like, what if I do this whole video and my tan comes out horrible and then I have to like literally not use it? So I want to make sure I did it like perfectly so I did exfoliate to the point where it was hurting yesterday. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> After you're done exfoliating, you want to um, shave your legs, okay? I don't think I need to tell you how to shave your legs. I'm pretty sure you know how to shave your legs, and if you don't, um, I don't think you need to shave your legs if you don't like to shave your legs, but shaving your legs does make it a lot more seamless. So when you get out of the shower, you want to use lotion, okay? You want to lotion your whole body, your whole entire, from the neck down. Don't put it on your face. Use your normal moisturizer. I don't even put tan on my face, so it doesn't even matter. Moisturize your whole entire body from the neck down down okay all the way down to your toes and then when you get to your toes you want to lather this boy on you want to lather as much as possible so you want to have it just like well I mean don't have it like leaking off but I was slipping around on my floor I like was like Oof. I almost fell a few times because my feet were so slippery but I did make it a lot thicker on my toes and on my ankles that's why my ankles aren't all blotchy that's why my knees aren't all blotchy and that's why my elbows aren't either and my hands aren't or nothing like that so nothing on my stomach is blotchy either so lather it up as much as you can okay only on the areas that cling on so any any parts of your body that have like wrinkles so like your knuckles the part on your toes that's kind of like the knuckle of your toe your knees your elbows things like that you want to make sure you lather those areas because the drier the more it's gonna cling on and the more uh, cracks you have, the more it's gonna cling on. So after you get your lotion all over your body, you are just going to start applying the tan. So I did film this part. I will just insert the clip of me applying my tan, and then I guess we'll be right back. I don't really know, okay? <laughs> so I just moisturized my whole body. Um, now I'm gonna be applying the tan. So I am gonna be using the Bondi Sands um, Tan Mint, and I'm gonna be using the Loving Tan Platinum ultimate self tanning mousse if you are very confident with self tan tanning which I am which I'm not I'm just showing you my routine um you should use this one but I just use it because it is the darkest and I'm like what's the point if it's just gonna wash off in a couple days you know I'm not the most experienced but this is the routine and I think it 
comes out fine. So take off all of your jewelry. I just took off my necklace. Um, and I have all of my rings already off. Those I took off in the bathroom. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start tanning. I am like the most pale you could possibly... I guess I'm not... It, it doesn't look as bad on camera, but in person, like... Are you kidding? So I've been doing my makeup and my shades, like the light, even the lightest shades that I have are becoming too dark for my face. So that's when I know, like I'm like, I need to self tan because all of my products are for the skin tone that I have with self tanner. So I'm just going to start applying this um, and show you guys basically what I do. So I'm just going to add a couple pumps on here and I'm just going to start at my arms. I don't know if I usually do this. Um, I just heard that I should do this, so I'm doing it. So... Shake it up a little bit, make sure like, cause you know, you haven't used it in a minute. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start going in. And go really quickly because you don't need to really rub it in. It just needs to be there. It just needs to be on. So I already have it like already on my whole arm. You don't want to keep rubbing it in because if you keep rubbing it in, you're going to rub it off. I don't know if you guys have tried that, but it will start to like peel off of your skin. And very lightly, I'm not pressing too hard. Try not to bend your um, elbow, your elbow so that pigment doesn't go in there. You just want to do it like this. One swipe over it. If you if you bend it and try to get all up in there, yes, you will get in there, but it is going to concentrate and it's going to have way more pigment and then your elbows are going to be very dark and you don't want that. So now I'm going to do my chest. Go up to my neck. I personally don't put this on my face. I don't risk the breakouts that I could potentially have. I have very sensitive skin, so that's just not the move for me. You don't want to add layers on top of your arm, so once your arm's already done, just leave it. Okay. So my hands, all I'm going to do is go like this. One time, no extra product. And then we're gonna just blend it down into our arm, okay? So I'm just gonna apply that to my chest real quick and my legs and I'll be right back, and my feet. I'm just gonna go do that off camera real quick and I'll be right back before this dries. I just threw on a very big shirt. This is what you guys want to do. Grab a shirt that's as big as possible and just put that boy on, okay? If you need to find like very loose pajama shorts, or like, uh, I would stay away from pants. Just find any shorts that are as loose as possible. Don't put anything tight on it. It will rub the tan off. It's very fresh. Like I still feel like it's very sticky, but this is what it looks like. It's very smooth as you can tell like by my hands and my wrists and stuff. This is, pl this is extreme. Like this is the darkest of the dark. So, but the moisturizer will dim it out. So if my, if my skin was drier, it would cling on to like my elbows and stuff a lot more. But since I added moisturizer, and things like, I'm just gonna keep it on longer, I'm gonna sleep in it, just to get the maximum strength. Since I did use moisturizer, moisturizer is going to make it not as strong. But I can't even explain to you how good my hands look. I just went over them one time, and don't go like this and get in the crevices. Because if you do this and get inside those crevices, like I said with the elbow, it is going to get into those cracks. Like don't do it with your feet, don't do it with your uh, ankles, don't go over your ankles multiple times. Don't go over your feet many times. Just try to get the product on you and then that's it. Don't go over your knees many times. Don't be bending your knee trying to get it in the cracks and things because that's when your knee is gonna be darker than everything else. Apply it, don't be making any like fists or anything to try to get in those cracks. It's going to be extremely dark and you're going over it multiple times so you're also rubbing the product everywhere and it's just, it needs to be just laid there and then left with, okay? Look at my hand compared to the bottle. Like, look at my hand compared to the bottle. Look how even that tan is. So this is what my tan looks like. 
the back of my legs, my knees. We're just gonna let it sit for the night and I will show you guys what it looks like in the morning. This is it the next day. This is after a shower. In the morning when you decide to wash your tan off, make sure you don't use extremely hot water. So if that's a shower, don't make the water extremely steaming hot because when you do that, you're just gonna take off your tan as quick as possible and you don't wanna do that, especially when it's so fresh. Try to stay away from just taking extremely hot showers. Like, to make it like warm, you know, be comfortable, but make sure it's, like you don't have to be cold. Another thing that I did want to say is that the more baths that you take, the quicker your tan is going to come off. So if you take baths every single day and they're steaming hot, your tan will probably last maybe three days, four days, but it's gonna start looking splotchy like the next day, like two days later. It's going to look, it's gonna start looking patchy and you don't want that because you just applied it, you know? Steer away from the baths because you're literally just soaking in water. It makes your skin so soft and it just, I've noticed that every time I take baths, like my tan just comes off so easily. So you don't want to do that, especially when you just spend so much time applying a tan. Moisturize daily. When you get out of the shower, make sure you're moisturizing, you know. The more you wash your face, the quicker it's going to come off your face. And I wash my face all the time, every single day. So my tan does not last on my face because like, Face washes have like salicylic acid and stuff like that. It just takes off your tan like quickly. It's really just all learning. If you've never done self tan before, you're gonna realize like everyone's body is different. So um, it's good to like hear other people's routines. But then again, you are just gonna probably adjust to your own routine and create your own something that works best for you and your body. Everyone's body's different. Everyone's skin's different. If you don't want to spend money on like fancy exfoliators and stuff, you can go to the grocery store and you can buy raw cane sugar, which is like those like squared sugar pieces you know what I mean you can go to the grocery store and buy that in bulk like a big bag like maybe a bag or two put them in a jar and when you go to the shower I like to bathe the night before um, just so I can exfoliate and shave and do all those things it's just great it's a great thing because I'm not gonna be able to bathe anyways when I have my tan on you can keep that cane sugar in your bathroom it's extremely cheap I think it's like two bucks for like the whole bag so maybe get like two of them fill up a jar I used to use pure cane sugar because Jaclyn Hill said that she used that and then I started using it and I was like you know this is pretty nice actually I feel like that's a really cool other option and it works great I think that is it for my tips on self tanning it's really all just a learning experience i hope i can help a little bit if you guys have any questions just leave a comment down below and i can answer them in the comments yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm so happy that i'm tan i just love it it's just the best like honestly i am a new person when i tan like actually like i i am no longer the person i was yesterday like that person was like i i seriously would go in public and be like no I need a tan. Like, I was wearing shorts, and I was like, yo. I was as white as this blank. I'm not even joking. This is actually a good representation of, like, how tan my arm, like, how tan my body is. But, like, actually, I was as white as that blanket. So, I knew I had to tan. Anyways, um, I don't really, can't think of any other tips that I have right now. That is really all I have for this video. I love you guys so much. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and also leave a like or a comment about anything else you would like to see. So, anyways, I love you guys. Bye!